So this is where the lift is and these relays work together. These relays both come on if the lift's on the ground floor, these both come on if it's on the first floor and all the way up to the seventh floor. So let's give it a go. So it's on floor one at the moment and floor one is that one there. There's a round, there's one. These relays are one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to follow these relays up to the top. So if I give it a car call on the top floor, it should go up. In fact, to give me a little bit of uh, time to prepare for the get the right camera angle, I'm just going to give it an up button on the floor where the car is currently positioned, just to open the doors and give me a bit more time. There we go. Give it a top floor button. It's done. Now we're going to follow these relays. So it's on the first floor at the moment. experiment. I'm now going to make an up call on the fifth floor. Okay, so the lift is then expecting to go up to one of these floors. But when someone gets in, they're actually going to push the ground floor. I'm going to press that button there. Just after I press that one, I'm going to give it a down call above the lift. Now the question is, will the lift obey the car call for the ground floor, or as it's still a collective state up, because I push the up button on this floor, will it continue up to get the top floor and then come back down? Lift is on the ground floor. I'm going to press the up button on the fifth floor. The lift comes up. going to give it a down button on the top floor and then I'm going to press the ground button in the lift car. Now as this was a collective state up because I press the up button, will it now obey that one or will it obey that one? Which way is it going to go? It's going to continue up. Cool. So the result of that is, if you press the up button on the landing and then you press the ground and there's a call above it, it will continue up no matter what you press inside the lift. Now going to press the down button on the fifth floor. I'm going to wait until it goes up. I'm going to press the ground floor in the lift car. Then I'm going to press the down button on the top floor. Now let's see whether it will go down because I pressed the down button initially or whether it will go up and get this one and then come down. I suspect it won't. Down button on the fifth floor. sequences, someone gets in the lift car, presses the ground button, and then there's someone on the top floor who also wants to go down. I suspect this will now go down and then have to come back up for that one. Which way is it going to go? Oh, yes. Where's it going? It's now going back up to get my down call on the top floor. So that is now coming up.
Let's try out these leveling up and leveling down relays, LU and LD. Where did I leave the lift? The lift is on the sixth floor. So I'm gonna give it a call a few floors down from where it is now. Let's give it an up button on the landing. And the leveling down relay is now on. Do you see leveling up come on at the same time then? Right, let's send it up a few floors now. Let's send it up to floor six. Let's just make sure no one gets in. Okay, up to floor six. Up button. Off we go now. I seem to both come on at the same time there. Now, I have explained, oh no, I haven't yet, but there's switches on this side, and these indicate the, lifts, the lift car position. Ground, one, two, it's on the third floor. Third, fourth, fifth, ah, sixth, seventh. This switch at the top here, you might be able to see on the one below it, in the middle of the screen now, you can see the contact on that side. On the one at the top, the contact is on the other side. Can you see that? See the little contact? Now that is a normally open switch, which means for that switch to um, activate, it must push the wheel in, joins them two wires together. This is a different type of switch. This is a normally closed switch. So when that wheel is pressed, it separates the contacts on that side. This switch here is part of the upper set. You see you've got the S contacts and the piece contacts. These switches on this side tell the lift which way to go when it receives a call. In a video coming soon I will be going through this lift circuit which is based on this express lifts controller. It's nowhere near the complexity of the actual controller but it will explain the principle of how some of the relay circuits work. How the S switches on the selector are used to send the lift in the right direction. And how the P switches on the selector are used to stop the lift. Still can't see that fan. I was expecting to see the blades, but you can't quite see them. But the fan is on the end of the motor. There is the motor. Inside there is that big jack screw, and that connects to the um, big wheel in here, whatever that's called, and that will travel along with it depending which way this is spinning. Some of these you can actually see that, but that's done up too tight and believe it or not I don't carry a spanner around with me.
see if I can see this film. That's why I can't see it because it's still spinning. There we go, it's slowing down now. Okay, so that's the fan. <laughs> that was worth waiting for. And that is where the air flows. So that will either suck it in or blow it out. And it will come out or in these vents here. And that goes to the electromagnets on the motor. And there's one that looks like around there as well.